You know, I actually looked up my first performance last night with some friends um, because they were like, you're doing Ellen tomorrow? And I was like, yeah. They were like, how many times have you done it? And this is my 10th time. Yeah. So I was like, it was so cool to tell them that. And I was like, I've known her since I was like 15. And I just am so happy to be here with you. I'm happy to be here. I, I love you and you know how much I love you. I text you every performance and I, I don't think You that, really do. I, I, I do. So I just, much. I thought you were so great at the Super Bowl. I thought you sounded amazing. <laughs> That performance on the Grammys was absolutely beautiful. You wrote that song. Thank you. And it's a cover of it. Yeah, it's a beautiful song. And Thank you're you. just, I, I say it all the time, I, I just love your spirit. I love who you are. I love your talent. Thank you. And you have just gone through. Well, I love you. A little, thank you. <laughs> um, but you have gone through so much. And I, I, I want to talk about as much as you want to talk about today. Yeah. Absolutely. But first I want to start by talking about, so you've been honest about your eating disorder, that you mm -hmm. had an eating disorder. Um, I just learned today that when you came for the last six years, the team, you're no longer with this team, but there was a team that used to handle everything before you got here. They were told to hide all of the sugar and put everything away so that when you got to your dressing room, or even backstage, there was no sugar anywhere near. Yeah. Did you know that was happening? I didn't know that until today, too. But I lived a life um, for the past six years that I felt like wasn't my own because I struggled really hard with an eating disorder, yes, and that was my primary problem. And then it turned into other things. But um, my life, I just felt it was so... And I hate to use this word, but I felt like it was controlled by so many people around me that if I was in my hotel room at night, they would take the phone out of the hotel room so I couldn't call room service. Um, or if there was fruit in my room, they took it out because that's extra sugar. Like, we're not talking about like brownies and cookies and candies and stuff like that. It's like, it was fruit, you know? And for many years, I didn't even have a birthday cake. Like I had a watermelon cake um, where you, you cut your watermelon into the shape of a cake and then you'd put fat free whipped cream on top and that was your cake. And so for years I did that and it kind of became like this ongoing joke, but I just really wanted birthday cake. And so this year when I turned 27, you know, I have a new team and um, Scooter Braun, my manager gave me the, the best birthday cake. And I spent it with Ariana Grande, who is one of my good friends. And we just like had the best birthday. And I just remember like crying because I was finally eating cake with a manager that didn't need anything from me and that loved me for who I am and supported my, my journey. You know, I think at some point it becomes dangerous to try to control someone's food when they're in recovery from an eating disorder. Yeah. And the reason.